little beautiful wizard village. Where our wizards are so friendly, they have people just turning up to volunteer. And lovely, naturally occurring families where everything is happy and kind and nice with no ulterior motives. Nothing's happening here in Wizard Village. Everything is very, it's just a, it's a normal village. Nothing nefarious. So anyway, the pregnancy loot box simulator seems to be going pretty well. We have Baffin Rambunculus, the brand new wizard with all sorts of very magical powers. The wizard with the most potential so far. Today, I think we need to magicify this village a little bit because right now it's shit. It's a bunch of wooden shacks in the middle of a field surrounded by a fence. And now that we have Melton and Flutie here to help do all the grunt work, we'll be able to build a base a lot faster. Somebody did point out that our wizards are probably far too busy to be looking after their own children, so we're gonna give that to uh, the thralls to deal with. When the baby's ready to be apprenticed and it can learn, then we'll give it to a wizard. But until then, while it is stinky and cries a lot, that's someone else's problem. Before we go too far though, the cyberpunk, somebody spreading dissent amongst the corporation, our mortal enemy, wants to join us. Now, I'm not saying we're going to trust them outright. Maybe we just want to add them into our workers section and have them be a thrall or a volunteer, but we'll see what they can do for us. More importantly, they're the enemy of our enemy. Amos, welcome. That is a flamboyant outfit. But you've got a very magical hammer. Oh, I like that. Run away. Run away fast and come join some wizards. Sorry, everyone else. You're going to have to get up here. We've got some security guards to fight. I could probably just send in the dragon and we'd be okay. A group of employees from Metcorp arrived nearby. Hello. Jade, Edan, and Suskind. What have we got? Nullkind? Nothing. Whoa. It's possible, but it's it's rare. Actually, that reminds me. What about Amos? <gasps> oh, Amos. Oh, Amos, you beautiful man. Carriers of this genes have extraordinary magical abilities. Holy shit. Magical aptitude up by 50%. Med meditation mana gain up by 30% a day. Arcane load recovery rate is massive. Creates a constant psychic suit that makes nearby colonists that don't have this gene happy. What the hell is even that? And he's also a technomancer. What if Amos was magical all along? Was it obviously a magical technomancer? Figured out a way to craft a magical hammer and they exiled him for it. This is awesome. You're the wrong ideology. We'll sort that out. Anima Corp. We can't, we can't be doing with that. But this is awesome. Holy shit, what a gift. We have to keep this man alive. And Bunkillus can tell. He can look at him and see he's got tremendous magical potential. His midichlorians are off the chart. Apparently, we also got a Pegasus. Hello. Oh, that's lovely. Here they come. Let's take shelter behind all these burnt out carts. This is a good idea. Here, Rambunculus, get over there. Go hide behind that siege tower. Wildfire, let's get you a little closer because your weapon doesn't reach quite as far. But go over there. Between the three of you, we should be golden. How far does that... Oh, that staff doesn't... Oh, you can get them. You can get them. Boom. Oh, look at them go. We've got a lot of range on our side this time. Take that, you big bitch. Pawn Wildfire is now one with their weapon and named it Punisher. <laughs> we're the good guys, I promise. No, we're not. I'm not even going to pretend this series. We're horrible, awful people. Horrible, awful, eccentric, weird little wizards. Behold, Amos, the power of magic. That's so good. That is so Behold me, the power of magic. Who needs fire fun poppers when you got that? Amos, it is time you know our true mission. How do you feel about breeding? <laughs> not very convincing, Rambo Killers, I'm not going to lie. Our top priority today should definitely be that ideology room. The ritual to bestow psi powers on people is going to be very, very important. Especially when we get people turn up like Amos, who have so much potential to work with. Maybe that's what we'll start with first. Maybe the, the base is fine. The base is, like, workable right now. Let's cordon off a big area to build a wizardy ideology room. Wizard wizard council. Oh, shit. Dragon hunters. Hello. How you doing? How many are there? Two, 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 two. That's fine. We can manage with that. Amos, bring your hammer. You've got a lot of friends today, Amos. Uh, Melton, Melton, get the fuck out of there. <laughs> Run, Melton. Okay, let's get behind cover maybe move the dragon away for fairly obvious reasons oh shit well on the plus side it might be more people to add to the wizard collection oh it's drones again you son of a bitch a drone honestly drones being used to fight dragons is an incredible world building aesthetic totally accidental of course you're actually blasting burt with a regular plain old you son of a bitch massive mech assault rifle oh for god's sake now, the dragon hunters are going to be more immune to psychic powers than a lot of the other... Good lord, this is a nightmare, isn't it? Than a lot of the other factions. By design, of course. They're specifically designed to fight magical creatures, magical people. Can we get you blasting that one? Get out of the fight. Okay, it's running. It's running. You were lucky. That stuff is nuts. 
Oh my god. Okay, we've got to be careful of that in the future then. They lit Bart up in no time. It's almost like Cloth isn't very good at repelling bullets. Is Amos okay? Amos is fine. Amos will give you a wizardy name when we bring you over to our wizardy ideology. Luckily, they seem to be going for the Bobinis more than anything. Why is it always Bert? Constantly getting slapped around left, right, and center. Are you okay? You're okay. Nothing new has happened. You were just shot in the neck and in the torso and in the sternum. Well, he actually was almost killed. We need to be a bit more careful about that. Poor sweet Bert. We need some meta combat side casting because this is just not working for us. Gortisha. Realistically here. Could we get someone else doing the cooking? No, we can't. But you know what I can say? Do what the cooking. Do whatever meals we need. And then after that, sit and meditate all the time. That's your only job from now on. Forget the rest. Oh, and actually Amos is a fantastic warden. Oh, you like our best social cards by far. Oh, well, that's a nice change of pace. You're also very, very good at intellectual too. What a guy. We are absolutely going to turn you into a proper wizard, my friend. Wizard hat is only 50 cloth. Although, wait, what's the difference? They're identical. Although, if you want to put some ornamental belts on it, it'll cost you six l -tex. As soon as we get Amos that side casting ritual, as soon as we bestow some magic upon him, as someone, someone worthy of his genes deserves... Then we can uh, get him those robes sorted out. We need to build the actual ideology room to start off with. Someone came up with an awesome idea in the comment section. They said instead of building a tower for each one of these, which would be ridiculous, just build magical buildings, halls, towers, whatever you want to call them, and group them together, right? So uh, Electromancer, Cryomancer, Pyromancer, all in the same building, call it the Hall of Elements. Scion, Commander, Bard, uh, throw all those in the same room. Maybe the Conjurer, the Necromancer, the Summoner. Make a, make a Conjuration Hall or something like that. And that is a much, much better idea. I feel like we can get the theme a lot cooler with that too. So I mean, realistically, how the hell do you build a Tower of Frost? I could put some coolers in there and make everyone sad all the time. Don't even get me started on the Tower of Fire. Let's, let's, not, let's not worry about it. An actual Hall of Elements is, is a much cooler plan. We'll, we'll, we'll sort all this out later. It's me saying we've got to be hedonistic wizards. They're eating crap off the floor. If we keep up with the Bobini hunting, we can't make lavish meals at this. Oh, God, really? Intermediate cooking. That's what we need. Let's go, let's go all in on that. Oh, God. We had a lot of research points stored, so it's already done it. Oh, that's good shit. Okay, there we are. Lavish meals, please, for my lavish wizards. And only for the lavish wizards. Thank you. As, uh, there's, there's not enough to go around, but eventually we'll try and give everybody, even the workers, some delicious, lavish meals. Because we're not cruel. We're not cruel, we're just insane. There's a big difference. As <laughs> he chases after his Galatross. <laughs> Gonna be a wizard council chamber, okay? It's an ideology room, but it's where they can sit around and ponder communitively. Com com communi communitively? Is that a right word? I'm trying to say the word community, okay? Commun communi communicative. That's not right. They do everything else together. Why the hell can't they meditate in the same room? And of course, more importantly, they can pass wizard decisions on wizard affairs, of which there are a surprising amount. Listen, listen, listen. I'm an insane person. How the fuck did I miss that? <laughs> How long has that been on the screen for? Why on fire is Pergonan? Um, okay, got some love in times too. Do you have any uh, idea how little that narrows it down? Should we find out at least who the father is? It's Rambunculus again. Wow, you Rambunculus. I'm not going to look at the baby jeans. We're not, no baby jeans here. Not interested. The first baby get again. Archon, Chronopath, Conflagrator, Skipmaster, Static Lord, Nature Tuned, and Extremely Magic, Psy Sensitive. That baby went ham. Second baby, probably not going to be nearly that impressive. So don't get used to that. That is some insane shit. Blessed first baby of the colony, really. 112% female. Male. We got ourselves some alpaca breeding program. Amazing news. Hey, are they any good at that, though? Uh, leather, 100, no, leather is when you butch them. Resource yield is 89%. You're shit. 84? These are the worst alpaca I've ever seen. Shit bags. So we'll have to breed them, and then the best ones we'll keep. And then we'll kill the rest until we eventually breed them up towards being very fluffy, woolly creatures. Madam, has anyone ever dared to inform you you'll have quite the beautiful buttress? <laughs> It's going to make the meditation room look a little nicer. It's the best I can do with, with wood. We've only got wood. Meditation cushions. Give me some meditation cushions. And actually, anima grass too. Oh, there's so much stuff I want. Help me. Was Amos again? Amos was a technomancer. Let's give you the technomancer badge, even though you're not quite... Yeah, artificer is what wizards will call it. Oh, I'll work on the renames eventually. Okay, I'm a very busy person. Oh, alpaca breeding project is off to the races. Look at that. Took them all of about five minutes. Great work. Look at these two staying up till 10 p.m. to try and get another Psy level in. I think Bird's about to flip over to being Archmage again, right? Because he's just pipped him at the post. Level 8. 
You two need to stop competing. This is pathetic. Although, this is where we start getting some real magical breakthroughs. Essence transfer. As far as I recall, it lets him bond his life to another animal in the colony. Should the person die, the animal dies and it resurrects the person. Now, the next cool part about that is dragons are effectively immortal. I don't know what their... Uh, can we see a life expectancy? 2,000. So the chance of this dragon dying of old age is very, very slim. The chance of it dying in combat is also very, very slim. The older dragons get, the stronger they get as well. What I'm saying is, with Essence Transfer, we can bond Bert's life permanently to this dragon. And should Bert die, the dragon will die in his place. Now, yes, would it make more sense to bond it to the Pegasus? Because then you're not losing a dragon. Yeah, probably. Is it cool as hell for Bert to bond himself to a dragon? Absolutely it is. How do, how do I do it? Uh... As essence transfer. How do I how do I do this? Who's the life force of another nearby person into a colony animal? Linking another nearby person. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I was about to be outraged then for a second. Go. Do it, Bert. In their tongue, they call him Bert. Dragonborn. Well, that wasn't nearly as cool as I expected. You weren't supposed to fall over. He goes into a coma for six hours, right? Oh, four hours. That's fine. And there he is. Linked to... <laughs> Duncan, essence of Bert. You really, it sounds like the fucking Muppets. What are you doing? Oh, that's so good. And there you are. Magically split fragment of someone's personality imbued in this very being. Let's see you top that one, Rambunculus. Is there a dragon out there with a part of your soul in it? I don't think so. Another level for Wildfire too. Oh, it's finally time, isn't it? Brain Exploder. Maybe the wizard called Wildfire should start getting some fire powers. Again, I'm a little bit concerned about that given the, um, given the biome choice and the building materials. And speaking of building materials, oh, look. Oh, come on, Rambunculus, come on. Wake up now. Let's get this wizard altar finished. This is the grand altar of wizard count. Well, it's a large altar. It was a grand altar until I realized I built the room the wrong shape. We need kneel pillows going all the way around the edge. What about those meditation cushions? I wonder if those double up and count as that. What would a meditation cushion be under here? Oh, those are cool. Flame, dignified, artistic, morbid, nature. So some of those we could apply to our wizards. Like, obviously, Wildfire's got to have a flame meditation cushion, right? In fact, you should probably get the flame meditation type. Wildfire, give it a break for one minute, please. Before we do anything with Amos, before you do anything with Amos, we've got to get him converted. If we're bringing this boy into Wizard Town, he's got to be a wizard. Our best warden is Amos. How confusing. Is Bert. Okay, Bert, grab this wooden staff. A uh, second wooden star. They're happy to look after the child, you see? Look at how happy the child is as well. <laughs> I'm going to have to take Bert off of meditation for a while. We need Rambunculus to become Grand Mage again so I can make Bert the moral guide. Well, I would love Rambunculus to stay Archmage. So many people have pointed out how fantastic the Chronomancer is. And again, it was totally random that when these characters spawned in, they just happened to get Chronopath, Skipmancer, and whatever else they picked up there. This guy is uh, a legend. He could be amazing for us. Not only could he potentially live forever if we use his chronomancy correctly, because he has the power to age others. He could age up the children very, very quickly if, if for whatever reason we wanted that, if we're already happy with their education. He could age up the dragons. He could age up the animals that we breed so that they're able to produce milk or resources or wool or whatever it happens to be. In an age-based series, a man who can control time is, is, is king, right? Not literally. They're wizards. They don't do that type of thing. Then I guess he could just suck the life out of the dragon. Well, not suck the life out of the dragon, but age the dragon, de-age himself, and both become more powerful. Oh my god, those windows are sick. Look at those. They're just under the light tab here. Also, some, some of these fireplaces would be awesome too. I didn't even realize we had any unlocked. Okay, well, let's throw some of those down instead of campfires everywhere. Transport balloon crash. Oh, hello. Kisney. Hello. Uh, I mean, I guess we have charitable beliefs as part of arcane uh, 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 unity. Obviously, look, we're a scattered people. We're going we're gonna to have uh, a little bit of... Oh, she's a dwarf. What is that? Oh, that's not right. I may have broken everything. Okay, I may have broken everything, but I fixed it now. It's all good. It's all good as new. You just need to update the configs when we're done. It's still a mistake. Kisney, hello. Super Arcane Dispersal. Arcane Load Recovery Rate times 150. I don't know how useful that is. I don't think we've particularly had issues. Well, okay. We haven't had issues with Arcane Load, but you've got to remember, our starting wizards are pretty talented. Like, they're actually, actually very, very good at recovery rate and stuff like that by default. It's another string to our bow. Let's get you... Obviously, we're going to rescue her anyway, because she came here looking for help. We've got to do something about this ideology, though, because that's a second Anima Court person. If we're not careful, they're going to take us over from inside. They don't necessarily trust Anima Court. Maybe they were people that were experimented on and kicked out. Hence the paralytic abasia. <gasps> Boffin! Baffin! What's your name? 
Buff and Rambunculus has reached the biological age of three and can now walk around. This is going to give Wildfire all of her time back because she doesn't have to spend 16 hours a day feeding a very hungry baby. Uh, remain colonist. Yes, please. Hello there. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, because he's got a hunger rate of 200 and 25%. He's a very hungry little baby wizard. Got anywhere for you to sleep. I haven't got anywhere for Baffin to sleep. At this point, I feel like we need a proper wizard's tower. And I think there's a super obvious place we've got to build the wizard's tower. Woo! Wizard Lake! Place for all wizards! Maybe we'll make this the elemental tower. Where you have the fire, the, the fireball fell, what are the, py, pyromancers, and the, and the lightning blasters, and the, uh, the, the frosty chili brew wizards, those ones. <laughs> really should learn some wizardy names. I mean, it looks small, but this is going to be an enormous building when we get it, when we get it built. This, this, it might actually genuinely be too big. Well, I'm looking at that. How many bricks is that going to take? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Okay. I've, ch I've changed my mind. I've changed, I'm changing the plan. Let's just do something like... Something like that. There you go. Beautiful. Simple and towery. Okay, and then we'll change it later on. Maybe, maybe we will fill it out later on, but for the time being, that's good. Or, ooh, hold on. We have a little, with a little tower here. Ah, a little tower here. You see, we follow the shape of the lake. A little one down here. Oh. Oh, that's way nicer. Big brain time. Very good. And then you can have little outdoor walkways. Do something like that first, and then we work from there. I like that a lot. I think that looks way, way better than just tracing it out. Okay, okay, hold on. First, first. Sorry, I'm doing like a hundred different things here at once. We need to slow down a minute. Rambunculus, get to meditating, my friend. By sleeping. Bro, that's the worst way to meditate. Yes, there it is. Ooh, dragon. A wandering true dragon. Oh my god. Majestic and strong. You could attempt to tame it, but beware, though. It may attack even those who offer it gifts. Or you could hunt it for its valuable horns. Uh... No, I don't want that. You can use an altar to banish the dragons if you don't want them to be around. Holy crap. You've named your enormous true dragon raw. If I'm not mistaken, these are... Yes, there you go. These are the strongest type of dragons. We just happen to get one randomly here. Look, I've got to, I've got to try. I've got to try. I'm trying to tame a regular dragon is dangerous enough. This could be... This could be monstrous. 38% chance. Okay. Well, at least he's got the conversion stuff. If things go horribly wrong. Rambunculus is now Grand Mage. Perfect. The uh, plan's all coming together. Uh, do it. Do it. Uh, wait, hang on. Not Manhunter Pulse, for Christ's sake. <laughs> that would have been a misclick of the century. Boom. I... I think I am deeply in love with Bert. Like, actual, real, physical, very deeply sexual love. True Dragon Wild is 99%. Oh, dear. Um, what taming level do you need for that? Just out of pure curiosity here. Uh... Uh, level animal handling handling skill. That's right. Ten. Ten. Is that all for an enormous true dragon? I suppose when they're intelligent, they're probably easier to handle. You can reason with them. That is awesome. No, 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 no. Come over here. Ride this dragon back to base and flex on Rambunculus. This is the biggest dick play you could have ever made, my friend. So Rambunculus, meditating at the tree again, huh? You just just sitting around. Sitting around meditating. Oh, yeah, nothing to see here. Well, we can't really see. You're behind the tree. Oh, damn. <laughs> what a flex. <laughs> One day that's going to backfire and go horribly wrong. But you know what? I'll take this. I'll absolutely take this. What am I going to feed it? It'll go out hunting normally if I just don't restrict the area. So that's the, that's the only way I think we can keep it. Bert Higgins compliments Baffin Rambunculus on their bravery. Oh, oh, Bert, you're such a nice teacher. What a fucking nice guy. Well, Rambunculus is back to be an Archmage, and I mean, eventually, as time passes for everyone else, and probably not so much Rambunculus, he's going to be locked into Grand Mage. He could be Grand Mage for generations if we if we play this right. So let's give Bert the role of Morale Shaper. Oh, damn, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Oh, everyone can gather. Yeah, of course they can, because we set that up in the presets for the, for the workers as well to be able to join us. Not a bad society. We're just insane and have a lot of work to do. Okay, welcome. Welcome, everyone. A successful ritual. You should add a, uh, an ability for those to be uh, cancelled. By you, I mean the general the general people. The, for, the, for them to fail. That would be awesome. The people of the colony rejecting your choice for moral guide or leader or whatever. That'd be kind of an interesting twist. We've got to keep Rambunculus now ahead of Burt. Because what I'm worried about is if Burt gains style levels uh, faster than Rambunculus, takes back the title of Grand Mage, and I think by extent we'll be forced to lose moral guide, and that will make him upset. So we've got to be careful about that. Non-natural part, minus 18. Oh, shit. Because of your curse of vanishing. Right. I don't think there's much we can do about that, I'm afraid. Yeah, that's a very fair point. Everyone else are, are kind of happy. We need a, a grand sculpture. Obviously, we've got diverse thoughts. We need to deal with that. And we, we're kind of in the process of dealing with that now that Bert is the moral guide. Everyone else, though, is pretty happy. 
Wildfire wants a better bedroom. I think all the wizards deserve a better bedroom, but with one of the mods I've got, you can set it up so that they'll just be visited by their lovers whenever they want. They don't sleep in the same bed. They can just have wizardy encounters. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so what we can do now is an arcane bestowing, right? Amos clearly has magic potential. Could be a very, very good mage. We need a pew and some lectins, so we'll, we'll get working on those next. But then we can bestow a side level on him, and if it's really good, I think he gains two. If it's uh, satisfying or spectacular, there you go. Participants may also gain another arcane level. We could do the same for the new person. She doesn't have any of the inbred, uh, in, inbred, that's the wrong word to use, inborn parts. Uh, maybe inbred in a few generations. We'll see how it goes. That means she can only learn telekinetic. That's like the generic one, like magic missile that every mage can learn. I've never played D&D. I presume magic missiles generic. Still useful. Don't get me wrong. It's another person that could blow up some brains. Let's start with a conversion ritual then. I think we should say that we can't make you a wizard until you believe in wizarddom. It's very psychological. It's like a placebo. You can't be magic unless you think you're magic, right? Yeah, come down. So we'll keep her off of, uh, off of, what are you doing? Are you carrying? They're just walking very closely together. Oh no, you're, you're physically going to put him on the altar. Amazing. I told you, they're all fucking weirdos. <laughs> Bert, Bert, please, I can walk. I can, I can walk myself. No, no, come along. This is wizard tradition after all. Okay, good luck. If we see Masterful here, we could be set up with another wizard immediately. Show me, show me. Oh, Bert reached level seven in social. Very good for Bert. Oh, not bad though. 33% to 2.8. Holy crap. I mean, as soon as that comes off of cooldown, basically we've got him locked in. Awesome. And then we can get ourselves a tech man, sir. And that's just going to be, that's going to be absolutely fantastic. That's what I was worried about. Because he's from the corporation, he's going to be very upset that he's got a lot of, he's got a lot of extra stuff going on here. Joywire, Bionic Arm, Detoxify Long, that's going to make him upset. But how cool is it that our, our tech man set is going to be the one to be partly mechanical? He hates it, he doesn't trust machines, but he understands them, goddammit. And I really like that as a character perk. And we've got to give him a weird wizardy name. Pack of Manhunting, Slate Muffalos. Oh, Slate Muffalo is an amazing RimWorld name. That's a Granny's Ranch style gunslinger type guy. Yeah, howdy. I'm Slate Muffalo. Get him, Rambunculus. Wait, they're made of slate. Is fire going to work on them? Ah, shit. You see what I've done here, right? <laughs> He's still equipped with the wrong staff. Um, if we say word of animals. Sick kid. Boom. <gasps> He's got it. Legend. Actually, Burke can still be useful. Just protect him for a little while. Can you not blow up their brains? Uh, arcane load 150. She hasn't got enough arcane load. I'm not making the joke. <laughs> I think something plenty of arcane load. There you are. You can fill in the gaps yourself. I also love the fact that our tech man set, our partly mechanical tech man set, is using an enormous glowing magical hammer. I mean, how perfect is that for the guy that... I would love to make him the crafter, but he's just shit at it. It's a real shame that doesn't line up, but that'd be almost, that would almost be too uh, cliche. The fact that he's got good intellectual too. He understands how it works. It doesn't mean that he's good at building it. I know they're rotten, but what do they drop when you butcher them out of curiosity? Slate muffalo eggs fertilized. I'm not going to ask any questions here. Drop heavy fur. Wool type slate blocks. Oh, no way. Oh, man. We've got to get some of these. They, they are set to spawn in naturally. They're just quite rare. So maybe we'll get some one day. We need to keep an eye out on the... Oh, there's another goddamn green dragon. <gasps> Female green dragon. A wife for Duncan. Whoa, what is all of this stuff? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so we've also got an E... L... L... I have no idea. I have no idea. I'll look about to pronounce that. Okay, I don't want to be a horribly ignorant person. Oh, it's Basque. There's no wonder it's unpronounceable. Usually depicted as a fire-breathing pitch black raven. That's so cool. I told him to not meditate. Oh, shit. Well, I changed the plan. Sorry, Rambunculus. I mean, listen, I I'm happy to give Rambunculus a lot more hours of meditation than other people. In theory, he should just stay ahead. If we do something like that, give him twice the amount of, of Burt, we should be safe. Oh God, school desk. Oh, there's so much to think about. There's so much to do. Hold on. Uh, let's get rid of the... That's our comms console, isn't it? Okay, so let's get rid of this and let's replace it with a school. Magical. Thank you, Melson. I appreciate that so much. You're a legend. Oh, psychic suit. There you go. That's your that's your reward, Melson. So now we can start training up little Baffin. Little Baffin's already been... <laughs> scrolling all over the floor apparently hard dragon scales those came from uh those came from duncan i assume scales can be dull red red yellow purple blue cyan dark green light green why are they not light green i wonder how bizarre i'm not complaining that's cool 180 180 hard dragon scales i wonder if we could build some mage robes out of that Listen, but this one's actually kind of important i don't want that dragon to walk off the map sit down meditate all day no 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 you've got you've got you've got to work though keep going keep going never stop critical light fire what's on fire oh Yes, of course, the entire map from those bloody slate muffalo. 
I wouldn't worry about that too much. It's okay. The rain will come eventually. Don't stop. Don't stop meditating. Keep going. No, 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 no. Forget about the fire. I'm actually going to turn them off for firefighting. I'll just min-max that with uh, Rambunculus. Far more efficient. This precluding disaster include. There you go. There you go. We're ready. Word of animals. Okay. Uh, dragon. Dragon, it's time. We've gotten very, very lucky with this. We've gotten so bloody lucky. 49% success chance. He's becoming quite a powerful wizard. To be fair, he's had a lot of practice. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. O honestly, part of me is like, this has got to be bugged, right? It's got to be bugged. There's got to be something changing it. But it says 49%. Wife for Duncan. I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy that we found Duncan a wife. Now we can start a green dragon breeding project. Okay, okay. Ram Ramunculus, if you don't mind. If you don't mind, this is this is the time we've got to start doing a little firefighting, my friend. Jesus, this is not going out, is it? Go, piss off. Nice, well done, well done, well done. Let's just cut all of this section off. There you go. He's been meditating basically all day, so he should be good here. And then one of those. Damn, this spell is so good. This spell is so goddamn good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Try and push it back so it's burning in the other direction. We've got to be careful, though. He's almost at his arcane heat here. Look at that. This was totally at his limit already. One more, one more, one more. We're going to disable the limiter. This is to go further beyond. There you go. Well, oh, God damn it. He can take the heat. He's Archmage. He can absolutely take the heat. We probably don't need to put that one out. That one's going to burn out naturally. So let's just focus on getting this bit done. Okay, and then fight that one yourself. And then I think we're probably fine at this point. I'll just say, I absolutely love this research mod as well. This is, this is sick. This is so goddamn good. Because then I can just let them research. If they've got nothing else to do, you can research. What else are they going to do? Sweep the floors, clean up, no thank you. And then when I decide, okay, I would really like arcane lighting to get some orbs, I click it and it finishes. Arcane defenses, done. Armored animals, queue it up. No, okay, don't queue it up. <laughs> Training desks. Very important, of course, that we have learning when everybody's aging so bloody rapidly. They're missing out so much experience over their life. Let's queue up the, the actual learning equipment then. Oh, those are sick. I like the aesthetic we've got going on in this room, you know, revering dragons. It looks a bit draconic with the, the candles and the altar and everything else. I'll, I'll, I'll add some other stuff too. Actually, the lectern looks very draconic as well. I hate that it's off center. That's, that's actually taking years off my life. We've done a couple of lecterns. Oh, we have a couple of lecterns. Then they can have wizard debates. Oh, that is big brain. Oh, shit. A passive conversion. Hello. Administrator role disabled. It's a wholesaler. That's all stuff from the, from the corporation, I would assume, because... But converted Amos just passively with a conversation. Look at that. Oh, that's so good. He said, finally, Bert. Bert, my friend, please firstly put your cock away. What the hell do you mean too deep? The noise caused by your mining has grabbed the attention of some underground dwellers. Beware, unknown entities have been angling and tried to destroy your base. Oh. Oh, God, from the dungeon entrance? Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Let, leave Wildfire too, which is our best combat character. Careful. Staddle. Go. Go. Trust. Trust the system. Shit. Try again. Try again. Try again. Trust me. Trust me. Go. Oh, God. I've really fucked the timing up on this, haven't I? Bollocks. Okay, hold on. Staddle. Staddle. Now. Now. No, oh, too late. Fuck. <laughs> Run. Run. Oh, God. Oh, God. My potatoes. Okay, we should be fine now. We should be fine. What you doing? Just doing a grenade. Kappa, no. Oh, it stuns them. Oh, well, that's sick. Well, that's great. And then we're done. Hey, great work, squad. Oh, my goddamn potatoes. Great moment, my friends, because finally we can add a new wizard to the colony who's unrelated to the other wizards, not in love with the other wizards, totally separate in every way so that this series will actually work. And that is the arcane bestowing. Expected quality 100%. That's what we like to see. We've got a pretty good chance of hitting that second silent. We've got an 80% chance. Hey, Moss, my friend, it is time. You have been chosen by Wizard Nation. You are on this council, but we do not grant you the rank of master. Oh, you know, because he's just about to be a new wizard. Boom. Satisfying. That's what we like to see. Magical achievement gain Ramunculus. Uh, I hope that did give Amos his... Yes, it did. Okay, good. Oh. <laughs> I was like, did I get that... Did I get that wrong? Did I accidentally bestow it upon Ramunculus? But no. They have channeled psychic power through Ramunculus into... Amos, and now he is a magical man. Just getting that because it was, it was a satisfying side effect. Very nice. That's great news. Soon, actually right now, we could potentially start using some of Rambunculus' skills at this point. The life expectancy of a true dragon is also 2,000 years. They get stronger as they age. So if we do age on... Can't target a dragon. Can't target a dragon, I'm afraid. Damn, it's worth a go. It's nothing to say we couldn't capture raiders and then just drain their life force with Rambunculus. We're not necessarily good here. They're absolutely insane and want power for themselves. What happened here? What the fuck? 
Oh, God. Duncan's wife went off and fought a Cerberus and almost got... M Actually, she might genuinely die here. 70%, 65, 60. Oh, you'll be fine. Oh, you'll be fine. Ramlanculus is on it. What a legend. Basically already totally healed. That's amazing. Leave it there for today. The second we get the Neolithic boards, we can start work properly on the Arcane Tower. All in on stone cutting. We put the learning equipment so that we can have skills maybe related to their Arcane powers. It's going to be the Hall of Elements. So what do you think? Cooking and... Jesus, what skill is associated with lightning and, and cooling? Oh, we'll figure it out. Okay, we'll, fi we'll figure things out. This is the start of something great. I can feel it in my bones. Actually getting other people unrelated to the others. I was a little bit worried everyone was going to instantly become related and then the colony was just going to die out first generation. But this gives me hope, hope, hope in my heart. Hope deep in my wizardy heart. And this is going to be a masterpiece when it starts to work. Thank you to the executive producer patrons for allowing this series and many others to exist. Keep an eye out for those mod pack updates as per usual. Uh, Crusader Kings 3 coming in theory soon. Uh, the, the new DLC should drop today. As I'm recording this, it's still not out. So God knows when that's going to happen. Normally around 6 p.m. my time. So maybe an episode tomorrow. Maybe it'll take me a couple of days to set something up and get something fun going. But we'll see how that goes. Thank you to Griff, Cole Bacon, Hudsu Wudsu, Erica, Zachary Whitaker, Space Soap, Zinaparo, Say, Saith, Seared, Birdman, Josh Lunt, Silver, Chicken Robo, I Love You Too Much, Chunchingo, Snowdog, TW, Nackstar, Struggler, Enderball55, Lawbringer, Frozen Solid, Zero the Person, Jai Guru, Night Rouge, Blue Cerberus88, Zano Yarkev, Sideshow C, Eronidas, We're Baby, Squinty Chimera, C Clock, and Snowy for their support the executive producer tiers over on patreon stay tuned executive producers for you may see your wizardy names appear over the course of the playthrough are you already one of the factions i don't remember which one i think the corporation so you might see everybody's favorite ebony darkness dementia raven way back again for the hundredth time unbelievable I, I swear the name's just is biased that's nothing i'm doing thank you as well to whimsy calico becky bjornulf noteworthy shadow step zero two mal adressa no thoughts head empty f Thrax, Serge Develez, and John Duckworth. Goodbye.